managed to get rid of the dreaded Russians. I just didn't invite them. Sometimes the old ways are the best. Besides, if anyone had choked, we'd be 13 at table. I wouldn't miss that in the middle of an ocean. Oh, really, I'm far too superstitious. <laughs> Why was the captain so surprised by our Italian waiter? They're all Italian in here. But this is an Italian restaurant. The first class dining room is not. What does it matter? How funny we are with all our little rules for everything. Don't you think people are getting tired of it? I don't just mean rebels, normal people. Like you, you mean? <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> Your mother's invited us up to Newport while we're in America. That trying to match me behind our backs. <laughs> Not behind my back. I told her to invite you. Don't be on mine. It's quite lovely out there. <laughs> you ever been sailing? <laughs> I actually have never been sailing. Well, that's all I have to do with you. Have you given up your card game? No. I'm the dummy. Ah, I find that very hard to believe. Only for a hand of bridge. And don't you forget it. <laughs> oh. That tiresome Mrs. Rushton been giving you a hard time? Well, I'm afraid the passenger list doesn't meet her high expectations. Oh, nor does her own background, if you ask me. I thought Americans weren't aware of such things. Oh, we're aware of them. We just don't care about them. Well, there speaks the voice of the future. I hope so. Or can't I say that? You can say anything you like to me. Miss Gibson, mm. I made four spades. It's your deal. Mm. Duty calls. I wish it didn't. Your partner played a very good game. Evening, Mrs. Brown. Good evening. There you are. You look kind of lonely in the dining room tonight. Should have come over and joined us. Oh, no. We were quite happy by ourselves, weren't we, Joseph? Well, that's very kind of you, Mr. Brown. Thank you. Is this your first trip to New York? For me, yes. But my husband is quite a traveler. Me too. I've been most everywhere. Heavens. What does Mr. Brown say about that? Not a word. He isn't with me anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, don't be. He's not dead. He's just having fun someplace else. Thank God he's got enough money. Neither one of us has to go short. <laughs> How reassuring. I thought everyone knew my story. Is it a long one? Nope. Jim started out on a dirt farm in Colorado. Next thing you know, he's discovered gold and we're loaded. Gives one faith in fairy tales, don't it? It certainly does. <laughs> Why don't you go to Gaddy's with the rest of your table? Well, we, no, we weren't uh, invited. Ah, they're lost. Really? It's like being forced to talk to some streetwalker from Drury Lane. And why did you have to tell her we weren't invited? Oh, because she asked. Oh, I'm going to bed. See you later. There's no point in sulking. I'm not sulking, I'm angry. There's a difference. Well, either way, it won't do you much good on board a ship. You knew you was trouble, didn't you? Right from the start. I did. I knew he was trouble. I kiss you like that against your will. When he and I had talked together, drunk together, you better not try anything like that again, or I will not be held answerable for my actions. You won't kiss me against my will. That I can promise. Right. I'll drop it. Mary. 
In a few days, we'll be in New York. With a completely different life out of you. Are you excited? I don't say that. Why not? I don't want a completely different life. I want my life. Our life. I do. What are we running at now? Just over 21 knots. Captain will be pleased. I'm not convinced he's right. You heard this, me. White Star deals in luxury, not speed. Esme's an old woman. But why take a risk when there's no need to? What risk? The sea's like a mill pond. Exactly. That means no foam at the base of a rock or an iceberg. And they've no binoculars in the crow's nest. I think it's damn stupid. I should watch whom you say that to, Mr. Murdoch, or you'll find yourself in the brig. It's too late. You won't want to be bothered. No, no, yes, you will. You will. Come. Mario! We're coming to find you. You don't want to bring a girl like that near my cabin. I don't know. Perhaps not. It's Desmond. I guessed. I told him it was too late. It's not. I'm happy to meet you. You make quite an impression on my impressionable little brother. Allora, me l'ha chiesto. I do speak a bit of Italian. The answer is he has asked me and I haven't said yes. But you haven't said no. You come to meet me. I take that as a very good sign. It may be a good sign, but it's also bad discipline. So I'm off to bed before I get caught in this part of the ship. Good night, Mr. Sandrini. Pleased to have met you. What's the matter now? Thinking about Suki. Oh, she's fine. She's not fine. She's in a cage. All alone. In the dark. She's also a dog. You've heard the phrase, it's a dog's life. It's never been my dog's life. What did you see? Thank you. Iceberg, right ahead. Starboard! Hunter starboard, sir! How is all the starboard, sir? Find Captain Smith and tell him what's happened. What did I say? Bloody, bloody stupid. Mm. How can you turn that off? I think you should wake up. Why? What happened? We've hit an iceberg. At least we 
We've scraped a long one. I was on deck. And suddenly it was there, right next to the ship, just towering over me. Everything towers over you. I'm serious. Well, what do you expect me to do about it? There's nothing anyone can do. Madame, Madame, levez-vous, levez-vous, the ship is sinking. There's no time to lose. Can't you get to Julio, is this true? I'm afraid so, Mr. Guggenheim. Well, I suppose the guesser is right, and we should get up. It's very inconvenient, but I don't think there's any way around it. Julio, escort Madame Aubert and her maid back to her cabin. It would not do for a steward to find them here. And if I drown, I do not care to feature in a newspaper story. And Julio, in future, let's never be in a disaster with foreigners. I'm a foreigner, sir. It's not even half full! Stop! What do we do? We can't bring it back anymore. Where's Miss Watson? She went back to her cabin for a book. Oh, why it's taken her so long. I... Oh. You should have gone. I should have made you go. So you can make me do things now, can you? I wish I could. Start bolting them all. We may have steerage passengers through here before the night's out, and I don't want any looting. Might as well go to the thieves as the fishies. That's exactly the kind of talk we neither want nor need. Yes, sir. Must get to a boat straight away. They're full back there, or at least they're secure that'll fill no, them. No, I know, but there are some down at the end that are still taking on women. I was coming to fetch my mother, but father says she's already on one of these. We're going to wave her goodbye. After that, I'll come and look for you. I just hope I don't find you. Why? Because I want you to be safe. Georgiana, if I don't make it. Don't say that! Men will get through this in first, in second, and in steerage. And I live. Just make sure that you're one of them, please. But if I'm not, I want you to know that if there is any truth in what we're taught, I'm going to make you lucky all your life. So every time that you catch that train, and every time that you find something you thought you'd lost, it'll be me. I love you, Harry Wagner. You're the best man I've ever said that to. I hope I live to be the last, but if I don't, be happy. <laughs> or I want to know the reason why. Georgiana, come on. I refuse to say goodbye. Me too. But if you want to please me, just get on a boat. Georgiana, come on. Proof will be a hundred fathoms deep. Now come on, man! Oh, 
it doesn't make it all right, you know. You shouldn't have gone off like that, not without telling me. However, my, my book, it was stupid. I thought it was in my cabin. I have your not... book. I was going to give it to you later. I've mended it. And you can hardly see the tear. It's very kind. I am, I'm sorry for making but you such a fuss about it. You don't have to apologise to me. You would never have to apologise to me. Not in this world. Don't talk as if this is goodbye. Yeah, well, it may be, and I don't think we need to argue about that. Now, come on. We've got to get you into a boat. This is folly. What chance do the dogs have down in the hole to get out on the boat? Sookie! Thank you. Get on board. Give it to me. I'll see your wife get to. Thank you. Go, go. No dogs on the boats. Oh, for God's sake. Give me a That's enough. Get your hands off her. Oh, he's helping. He's helping. Women and children come through first. Get your children. Stand back. Stand back. Stand back. Let these children through. Now that's enough. Let them through. We're full. We're going to lower. You will not. Now let them through. Get them on. Here we are. Get them on. Halt! Halt! Get in there and take charge. Yes, sir. Come on. Stand back, I tell you. Halt! Much lower now. Any more and the boat will split. Stay with the others, I'll find her. Don't Stand worry. Stand back! Stand, Stand back! Teresa! Help him! Please help him find her! Mary! Remember me! Teresa! Teresa! Done. We should split up. You try the dining room. Go. There's no point hanging on here. There's no point in doing Come on. anything. Georgiana! Hey. Oh, my God. I hoped you'd gone. I prayed you'd gone. No, we've been unlucky. Why not? Hurry. They've got one of the collapsibles onto a davit and they're loading it now. It may be the last boat to get away. Good. Come on. It's through here. Left. Darling, come along. Up you go. Miss Watson, I wonder if I may have a word. You better make it quick, Mr. Barnes. They won't go without you. What is this? It's a letter to show my appreciation. You don't open it now. I've got to go. We will meet again soon. You just think of me sometimes. That's all I ask. Jack! Jack there! You didn't get off on a boat? No, apparently not. I was too old for women and children only, despite my mother's spirited attempts. I mean, they were taking some men on this side earlier, but... Well, they didn't take me. So what are you gonna do? Swing for it, I guess. 
I think it's safer if we climb down one of these ropes. There's nothing safe about it. When the time comes, I'm jumping out as far as I can. Lady Metton, the boat must go. Please, Mama, come with me, please. She needs you. She hasn't needed me since she was ten. Oh, she needs you now. You have to go. I will take care of her. Your other daughter. I will take care of both your daughters. I promise. Officer Lowe, you go. I don't have to, sir. Get in. Aye, sir. to open a lock that didn't need it. Let's hope to God it works on this one. Not many would agree, but good luck. The last boats have gone, sir. They've launched one of the collapsibles and they're trying to get another into the Davos now. You should go. There is no obligation to go down with the ship, sir. Isn't that for me to judge? Mr. Ismay got away. He stepped into the boat just as it was going down. Lou and I could have grabbed him out, I suppose. But we didn't. I'm glad of it. Let Ismay be the coward of Titanic. Whereas I'm just the fool who sank her. You're being very hard on yourself, sir. You should get going. And if you manage to get out of this, please don't think too harshly of me. And tell Mrs. Smith my last thoughts were of her. Here. But what will we 
we do that? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to sit here and hold each other tight. What happens then? It doesn't matter what happens then. We're together now, my darling. Everything's going to be all right. Your daddy loves you so much. No! 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 
Well, Francatelli, there goes that beautiful nightdress you were so proud of. Oh. 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 for sure. <laughs> we must go back. Of course we must go back. <gasps> we'll be swamped. We will sink us for sure. We can't. We mustn't. Do I understand, madam, that you've left no husband behind? Officer, take us back at once. I will go back. But I must make some space in the boat to take survivors. How? You ain't gonna chuck us overboard. Roll towards the others. We'll make a pontoon. And we'll empty one of the lifeboats. No more room here. Here off. Mr. Second Officer. I can't help that. The clan, sir. You're refusing to go back. I am. But this is outrageous. Do you have any idea what would happen if we did? There'd be a hundred people trying to climb aboard in less than a minute. We wouldn't have a hundred. I doubt there'd be a hundred still alive by the time we got back. Why don't you pipe down? How dare you? Don't you know you're speaking to a countess? I don't care if I'm speaking to the king of Zanzibar. I'm not going back, and that's that. Muriel. Don't go. Muriel, don't go. Not like this. No. We should try. It's not right if we don't try. What do you feel, Madia? I don't think we should. We're all upset enough as it is. That's not the point. There's hardly any of us in this boat. We must go back. I don't agree. It could be very dangerous. I think we should just wait and see what happens. We know what will happen. They'll all drown. I'll tell you what. If we get home, I'll give every one of you a fiver. How's that? Do you think that was wise? Well, I've said it now. Steady! Easy, easy, easy. Left. 
All right, balance out. Right. Uh, right. Uh, right again. Uh, Come on. Uh, right. Uh, Easy. Uh, Easy. Balance. Uh, Easy. There's no room, son. Can I ask you to transfer into this boat, please, madam? I don't think I could do that. I'm afraid I must insist. Oh, for heaven's sake, we're not dancing a minuet. If he asks you to get out of the boat, you get out of the boat! Well, I'm not accustomed to being spoken to in that manner. Come on. Officer, Hurry. this is taking forever. Sir, sir, you must get started. You too, madam. Madam? Let him down, gently. <laughs> Should we say a prayer? We must be quite a mixture when it comes to worship. So what about the Lord's Prayer? Any objections? No. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. We're going back. And I don't want to hear another word about it. We are not, and nor do I. Come on. Who can row? Mr. Wagner? I will. We can. I can. Move. No, I won't allow this. Oh, I'm in command here. I advise you to get out of the way unless you want to be thrown overboard. I'll take the tiller. understand. Uh, don't worry. That's all right. That's it. We'll bring you in. I think he's dead, sir. I saw something. Pull him in. Dead and another may not make it. Oh my God! Paolo! 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 He's gone, I'm afraid. 
There was only a flicker left when we found him. Did you know him well? I was going to marry him. I'm very sorry, Lady Manson. No! Not yet. He's so cold. Is there anything we can do to warm him? What are we? I have brandy! Look! Hang on! Wait. Here. Come on. Just what I brought it for. So sorry, my dear. Mr. Paul. Dear Mabel, if I may, I have taken the liberty of enclosing my will, which you see has been properly witnessed by two of the passengers. I don't believe it matters whether or not they survive. I haven't much to leave, but there is a small house in Reading, presently let, which I think should see your father out of difficulty. It comes with my best wishes for your continued health. Yours respectfully, Kenneth Barnes. a light flickering on the horizon. Mr. Lightoller, didn't you see it? Thank you.